I think most of us like to stay a little longer in the evenings. The reasons may be different. Netflix, YouTube, maybe an app. The worst thing is when it's dark in the room and we will have to suddenly leave it or for example disconnect the charger from the other side of the room. Bad lightning may come in handy turning it on automatically. Now let me show you how to make it. I will start by making a prototype on a breadboard. I connected the LED, resistor, PAR detector, jack socket and connected all components according to this diagram. The right potentiometer on the motion detector is responsible for the sensitivity of the motion detection and the one on the left is responsible for the time the LED will be on after motion will be detected and its minimum value is approximately 3 seconds. Then I slightly modified this prototype by removing the diode and adding a relay with a LED strip. I connected these elements according to this diagram. A gentle twist increased the value of the time during which detector output is high to about 35 seconds. As you can see, everything works as it should. Based on the second prototype, I created a circuit diagram in Eagle and a PCB that will look like this. I exaggerated a bit with the resistor housing. I exported the file to the Gerber files and ordered them from PCBWay. I ordered a PCB with a yellow solder mask for the first time and to be honest I didn't like this color. I unpacked the bubble wrapped boards and put one of them in the holders to facilitate the soldering process. I put flux on all the solder pads and then a little tin on one of a diode and transistor pads. After placing these elements in their places I soldered the rest of the pads. Then I soldered two resistors, jack socket, relay and gold pins. Before I design the housing and enclose the PCB in it, I have to test this device. I connected the signal from the PAR detector and the power supply to the board. I connected a LED strip to the two gold pins in the middle and the gold pins on the left side can be used to power other intelligent devices that I plan to make. I have no objections to the operation of this device. I can start designing the housing. I started by creating a new project and saving it as bed light. Then I added a new sketch and taking into account the size of the board and the relay, I determined the dimensions of the housing. I added a hole for the jack socket, handles to attach the housing to the bed and holes for wires. Another part that I had to design was the PAR detector housing which I made in the same way as the previous one. The last stage of this process was to save the project and export it to later put it into Creality Slicer and print it.
only thing left was to mount the device and the LED strip to the bed. Thanks to the mounts, you can easily attach the device to the bed, be it with screws or hot glue. I chose the second option. I attached the device first and aimed it at the area where it is most likely to be found and finally attached the LED strip. After connecting the power supply, I was able to enjoy the next completed project.